The hype train's about to come into the station here, Westy. <laughs> yes, uh, this is actually a really interesting bit because even though it's a behemoth and yes, it's designed to change the game, it really depends on how you use it. If you don't use it correctly, then you could actually leave yourself more vulnerable. It could go very quickly indeed. And then you've lost your chance to sort of change the tide of the battle. And let's, let's go down that route, actually, because we're going to see it in action very, very soon. The point is, it, it doesn't really get to the capture points, does it? It only really goes by one. It has an effect on a second. It does do damage. There's no disputing that. Here comes and the here train now. And yes, it is on rails for anyone else out there who wants to make a joke about that. No, it is on rails and it features six different seats, plenty of cannons on the side. It's actually got an anti-air cannon as well. So it is extremely powerful, not only to ground units, but people up in the sky really do need to pay attention as well. Now, speaking of up in the sky, though, there has to be a counter to this, as you said. There are ways to play around these behemoths because we saw on that first map, people were kind of unsure how to deal with it the first time then you see that everyone coming together taking it down and working through it how do you deal with that train well one of the things that you can do is as an infantry unit obviously as i said the assault player does have access to some explosives but in in my own sort of experience of looking at the games that we've seen players in sort of planes are going to be the best ones okay. to sort of uh, eyes in to the try sky and, yeah eyes in the sky really you've got people in the bombers and they're the ones who can deal a massive amount of damage. If they lay down a carpet of bombs on top of that train, they're going to do a massive amount of damage. Well, speaking of it, you highlighted Pony Lion HD as one of the players you wanted to watch for this ability. He's already eyeing up that train. He knows what he wants out of this one. Definitely. But just so we can see here, this is a really good shot of just the scale of the map as well. It's absolutely massive. It is a huge map. You can see the uh, objective off in the middle there. He's taking some serious damage, but he's going to come in, I think, for another strafe run if... Oh, he's going for the repair. He feels like he's safe enough to do that. But I think he's probably going to come in for another strafing run on that, on that train. And this is the beauty of Battlefield as well. It's not just about your infantry. It's up in the air. It's up in the skies. We're seeing those dogfights coming through. And now here comes that run again. The hit and run. Pony Lion HG needs to back out of this. He's got to be careful. He is taking fire as well. They're not letting him just get away with this. And oh, that's it. He's the armored for. train took him out completely. Wow, that really does show the power of, uh, of that train there. That's something that you do have to note, though, is that people up in the plains may be the best person, the best people to try and take this thing out, but you leave yourself extremely exposed to everything else up there as well, because you're concentrating on something on the ground, not the other plane that's now behind you shooting at you. And also, let's, let's bear in mind, because a lot of people get nervous about this stuff, you know, how's that going to work? Is it balanced? Is it not? Keep your eyes on the tickets. They haven't gone drastically in one favor. It's more even the scoreboard. It's meant to be able to turn the tide of the war almost, and Oh, we've got a little bit of uh, action. Oh, he was... Cyber I Wolf and oh. with some pistol shot. You're going to get punished there. The MP18 trench gun is going to deal with you very swiftly. He tried. They tried to go <laughs> for, like, a sneaky melee kill, but it Stop didn't quite pay off. And you know what it happens to me all the time? You try and go for it, and then the person turns around at the last minute, and, of course, they're the one standing there with a fully automatic weapon whilst you've got a bolt-action rifle. So... And that, again, is the beauty of Battlefield. It's the rock, paper, scissors mechanic. Everything has a counter. If you're going in for the melee, you better be aware that that person could turn around at any moment and you've left yourself extremely vulnerable. Okay. Who have we got here? This is Driftor. He's uh, taking the tank into perhaps uh, uncharted territory, into a more infantry part of the map. But, of course, he's putting a lot of power behind those infantry units there. Yeah, that's certainly going to do some great damage, but already you can still find this infantry battle going on. These buildings allow for perfect cover. The map, however, does change. The cover, it just completely removes itself throughout this battle. And again, you can though, see here on the ground to the right hand yeah. side, you can see the craters that have been formed in the ground. That could have been from a dumbfire rocket from the plane. It could have been, it could have been the, the anti-tank grenade. There are so many things that you need to be aware of in this game. And terrain deformation is one of them. You, suddenly, you might be able to use that as cover but on other occasions, and most likely that cover has just been taken away. Yeah, it's interesting to note that that uh, train was still going at that point because the match has moved on a, a fair bit, but the train was still there, plucking away. And, and look at where the flags have been capped here. Let's keep that in mind. Only two are secure, one for each team. So at the moment, it's actually fairly even. Both teams going for different objectives, both running at the same time. You are seeing the covering fire going down, the suppression coming into the place. That flag is so contested right now. They're doing whatever they can. And at that sort of range, you're not going to have the best of luck with that sort of weaponry. And well, you're not going to have much more luck if you do that. <laughs> that says accident. I'm not sure what it's happened there. A little backflip. There. A little backflip. It didn't go well.